We welcome you to Sports Talk. I'm Ted Emmerich. For the first time in 2012, we check in with one of the premier sports in McKinney ISD. That's girls soccer. Just look at last year. Boyd wins the 5A state championship, named the preseason number one team in the country this year. North wins a district championship. McKinney goes two rounds deep in the playoffs. And all three are gearing up for long runs this year. But first, they have to tackle district play, which is just around the corner. Coming up, we'll sit down with the coaches. We'll also bring you the Dennis Baker State Farm Scholar Athlete of the Week. This is Sports Talk. Boyd has a new head coach in Michelle Estes, but the same expectations that go with being a defending state champion. Uh, Michelle joins us now, and your team has been through a couple of tournaments so far early in the season. First, the National Prep Elite Showcase in Fort Worth, the Vernon Newsom Classic in Mansfield. Overall, you're 9-0-2 at this point. What have you seen from this group so far, Michelle? We've played some quality opponents already this year. Um, we've played, I'd say, a handful of nationally ranked teams, including Mansfield, who we beat Friday 2-0. Um, we've got that core group back with uh, a bunch of seniors, Katie Heap, Kara Dougal, Amanda Ellertson, Lindsey Jones. And then we've got a bunch of young kids stepping up from the JV group. You know, that JV group was undefeated for two years. They've been waiting their turn. And we've got some young kids producing, too, so it's very exciting. You're taking over for Jimmy Lankford as head coach. He won three state championships overall in McKinney ISD, two at Boyd. He's now coaching boys soccer in Cortez, Colorado. You say it, it's not that big a step up for you because you had a lot of freedom as an assistant under Jimmy. What's the adjustment been like, though, going from assistant to head coach? Um, well, it, it's definitely been more dealing with parents and, and kids. My role as an assistant was um, – more motherly, more, you know, to kind of um, be the go-to, and, and now I have to be the heavy or, or the, you know, the decision maker. And so that's been the biggest transition, I think. You know, speaking of transitions, how about going from having a kid in December to getting ready for the season just weeks later? I'm sure that's exactly as you planned it. Right. Have a child, then the season opener just Correct. shortly after that. Correct. Oh, well, she's a blessing. She's been wonderful, and she definitely knows her mother's in season. She's been a much easier baby than my first. Because Boyd has ascended these heights, Michelle, two state championships in the last four years, pressure certainly follows you and your players everywhere. And, you know, it's not just outside pressure. I'm sure it's internal pressure as well because you strive to be the best every single day. How do you deal with that? Um, well, we embrace the pressure. Most of the seniors and juniors have been ranked nationally their entire um, high school career. So those girls, to them, they, it's welcomed. You know, they want, they want that. And they're very good at helping the younger ones embrace it and deal with it. Um, and we just tie that into everything we do. We just compete all the time. You mentioned Amanda Ellerton's name just a moment ago, coming off that 23 goals, 16 assist junior season in which she was named the unanimous district MVP mm -hmm. on the same team that included Kelly Minogue and Megan Strait, now at Texas A&M. What else can Amanda do for you here as a senior herself? Uh, Amanda's kind of our heartbeat. Um, she uh, is just such a phenomenal player, but she would run through a brick wall. And the neat thing is the girls would follow her. You know, that's the type of leadership and example she sets. How about Katie Heap? She returns after being named to the all-tournament team at State last year, back patrolling the midfield. How much does Katie mean to your team's success? Oh, uh, Katie's a huge part of our success. Um, she is definitely kind of our go-to on the field, and the kid has such talent. She really has the opportunity this year to maybe even do greater things than Kelly did. Um, she's got that ability to be the game changer, and she was recently named captain, too. She's really started to display some leadership on and off the field that um, the girls are really looking up to her. And the girls are certainly glad to have Kara Dougal back in Absolutely. goal. 19 shutouts last season as a junior, including 
three consecutive shutouts to close out the season, three straight one nothing victories from the regional final through the state tournament to cap that championship season. What makes Kara so special? Well, just in high school, to have a quality keeper um, is big. You know, you can kind of get by with mediocre field players, but having Kara back there, it's, it's a confidence um, that our kids just every day they go out and they know that she's just so reliable. And she's um, also really become quite the leader on the field, very vocal and kind of the quarterback. She's running things, which is really nice to see her step up and do that. A trip to Longview awaits as you prepare for district play that gets underway very soon. What do you expect from that game against Longview tomorrow? Um, well, Longview, you know, we played them last year in a playoff game, um, and they had some very talented kids. So we wanted to get one more quality opponent in before district started. Um, and, and we also, you know, possibly will see them again in the playoffs. So it's just kind of get a peek, but also to get challenged as we head into to district. And District 10 5A doesn't offer near the resistance that you encounter in non district in some of those national events, obviously. Boyd was perfect last season, going through that district season. What's your message as you get ready for district play once again? Because I'm sure you hold your team to a different standard. Mm -hmm. Well, we focus on the details as we go into district, doing the little things all the time, um, continuing to develop those fundamentals, um, and just a confidence. We're looking to have a, you know, a confidence as we get into the playoffs and stuff. But um, you know, Saxe and Rowlett are quality teams. Um, Naaman Forest is a good team, and so we know not to take anyone lightly. I mean, we get everyone's best. You know, it's their state championship every time we play someone. Um, so just to stay focused, but work on the details, doing the little things through district is what we really focus on. Thanks so much for the time, Michelle. Best of luck as the season continues. Thank you. Michelle Estes, head coach of McKinney Boyd. Boyd, uh, obviously one of the elite teams, not just in the state, but also the country. And they're out to prove that they're once again the elite team in District 10 5A before the ultimate goal of defending that state title.